Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I wanna be showing you guys how to make a profile picture in Pixlr. This is an insanely highly requested video by so many of you guys. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going super in depth into how you guys can make a profile picture for yourselves, no matter what kind of content you make. I mean, you don't even realistically have to be a content creator. I mean, everybody realistically needs a profile picture, whether it's for Instagram, whether it's for Twitter, whether it's for Facebook, I'm gonna be showing you guys like the dimensions you need the dimensions I use for like my profile pictures and kind of like how I center things but again before we get too far into the video as you guys know if you haven't liked the video and also subscribe to the channel I would greatly appreciate it if you guys could do so if you guys found this video through YouTube search I actually do a lot of different type of pixel tutorials so make sure to definitely go ahead and check out some of my other videos I'll toss a playlist in the description that actually has all of the pixel tutorials that I have uploaded here on the channel so definitely make sure to go check that out if you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about pixlr but if you guys aren't familiar with pixlr pixlr is essentially just a website that you can just just hop right into that you do not have to download anything you can literally just hop to the website start making your profile picture save it put it right on your page and it's literally as easy as that now I know some of you guys on the channel here have requested in specific a Fortnite profile picture tutorial but instead I chose to just do like a general profile picture tutorial instead just because like the rules pretty much apply to pretty much any profile picture that you're making whether it is like Facebook or YouTube or whether it is like Fortnite or like an anime profile picture or like pretty much just any profile picture you're making it's the same thing for everything so i thought it would just be so much easier to actually just show you guys like how to actually go about making it so you guys can actually like make it custom for yourselves because i know everybody these days wants like a custom profile picture so it's not like the same as other people's and so they like stand out versus like other people so i'm gonna be showing you guys how to do all of that in today's video what prompted me to actually make this video was if you guys can see here behind the uh, webcam i actually have my youtube channel up right here and i actually just redid all of the graphics for this channel so i actually redid the banner and i just redid my profile picture and everything so i think that's enough for the intro let's go ahead and just jump right into the tutorial all right so first things first make sure you guys go over and head to pixlr.com slash e um, or just pixlr e there will be a link in the top of the description if you guys do just want to click that the very first thing we're going to talk about in this video is dimensions because this is something that i see people bring up a lot when it comes to like profile pictures and other graphics now in specific i'm going to be focusing on twitter instagram and youtube because those are just the three main like social medias that i personally use and that i have like a lot of experience using i'm sure it's exactly the same thing for Facebook and other ones but first let's focus on dimensions so the dimensions that I personally use for every single one of my social media profile pictures is 800 by 800 now if you guys want a higher resolution profile picture you can go like a thousand by a thousand or like 1500 by 1500 but honestly for me it seems a little bit unnecessary to go anywhere above 800 by 800 but essentially as you guys can see the point of it is is that you have the same width and the same height and this is very very important for profile pictures in specific because the main point of like a profile profile picture is that you want the things to be centered you want like your logo to be in the exact middle of the profile picture and it's going to be impossible to do that if the width and height aren't exactly the same so again I'm just going to go to width and I'm going to go to 800 and I'm going to go to height and I'm gonna go to 800. Now I'm just gonna leave the background on transparent. Now, if you guys want a background to your profile picture, you can click this and you can choose from like white, orange, you know, whatever, or you can click the white actually, and you can go through here and you can find like the specific color that you want. You guys can as well find the exact color code online if you guys want a specific color from like a color palette, and you could just copy and paste it into here and you guys could also do that as well. Now, I'm just gonna stick with white or transparent or whatever, just as an example for this, I'm gonna click create. And as you guys can see here we have just a white 800 by 800 square now this is not going to be a logo tutorial or anything like that if you guys already have a logo you guys are going to want to toss it in if you guys have a picture that you want to center just whatever you want to center like you want right in the middle of your profile picture if you do want one make sure to go ahead and toss it in right now now i'm just going to use like a simple text layer for this i'm just going to put ik for an example this obviously isn't the font that i use for my profile picture but we're going to go to the font tool here i'm just going to drag it up a bit so say this is my logo right and I want this directly in the middle of my profile picture. So the awesome thing about Pixlr, and this is actually why I also like Pixlr a little bit better than Photoshop when it comes to like aligning things is because if I grab this, right, and I just drag this around, if I move this towards the middle, you guys can see that purple line popping up. That is actually the direct middle, like vertically, I believe. And then if I go up and down towards the middle, it's gonna give me that horizontal purple line as well. Let me see if I can get it up here. So if I drag it along very carefully along this vertical line, I'm gonna hit that horizontal line as well. 
and then I can just kind of drag it down. And this is a little bit finicky. I think they could do some, you know, some improvements on this whole like aligning thing here, but it's fairly easy, I think, just to kind of line it up. And as you guys can see here, it just offers you a very, very easy way of just centering your logo. A lot of people don't seem to know that that's even there. So I think that's a super nice touch to Pixlr. So we've got our logo here. I mean, we've got our background. What you guys can do if you don't want to mess with the alignment of the logo at all and you have the logo how you want, you can just go to the three dots over here and you can always just lock that layer so you don't end up accidentally moving it or anything like that. Now, if you guys don't have a logo and you guys want to use another picture for your profile picture, say you guys want to use like an anime character, or if you guys just want to use like a picture of yourself and you guys like want to see what it looks like, like actually on a profile picture, I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So this is what I do. Let's go ahead and just remove this logo because we really don't need it anymore. I'm going to go to layer, add image as layer, and I'm going to add this circle png that i actually found on the internet now this is actually a circle png so i might leave it in a google drive in the description i'm not entirely sure but you guys can find a lot of these on the internet just search like circle png and the reason i have a circle png and the reason i don't like draw one into pixlr because this is actually like the exact shape of a circle it's not an oval so with that being said a profile picture is always circular right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and i'm gonna again use this horizontal thing and i'm gonna line it up right in the middle and i'm gonna have it barely touching the top and I'm gonna drag it as big as I can just to barely fit in this square. We might have to size it up a bit more here. This is gonna take a little bit of getting used to for sure, but we just gotta make sure that it is perfectly on the edge right here. And this is about good. So essentially, now that you have this circle like perfectly in this box, everything in this circle essentially is going to be what your profile picture looks like on YouTube or on Instagram. And this is actually a PNG circle as well. So if I wanted to, you know, again, like add a layer, it wouldn't be like behind it or in front of it. It would be like in the middle of it. You could still add like a background behind it, if that makes any sense. So if I say put IK for an example, I can still like align it. And I can kind of align it with that horizontal as well. And then I kind of have it in the middle, as you guys can see here. So this circle is super, super helpful for knowing like what exactly your guys are going to get in the middle of your profile picture. So say we wanted to add like an anime character or something in our profile picture. What we can do is just find like a PNG of your favorite anime character or something like that. I'm just going to grab this for an example because I really don't have anything else. This isn't ideal, guys, but essentially if you put it in here and say... I drag it up a bit and it doesn't have to be perfect outside the, the circle really because anything outside the circle realistically isn't going to show up on any of your social medias. So if I take this top layer and I drag it underneath that circle, you guys are going to see this is exactly what's going to show up on your profile picture. And this is insanely useful if you guys don't want to keep saving images and putting it on your social media and then realizing it doesn't show up properly. And then you guys are going to have to go back again, re kind of size it and shape it and then save it, go back, apply it to your social social media and see how it looks. This will save you loads and loads and loads of time. As well as that, as you guys can see on my YouTube, I do have like a white ring around my social media. I don't know if you can really see right here, but there's kind of like a ring around it. And I know a lot of people do that if you guys know what I'm talking about. So if you guys want a ring, you guys could take this circle. You can go to select pixels and see how I kind of just selected that entire circle. So if I wanted a border around my profile picture, I could just take this circle and I don't know, I could change it to any color I wanted, like maybe a color like purple or something like that. And I could always just go to the brush tool here and, you know, just draw this in as well. So we have like a purple circle. And then I can always make that circle like a little bit thicker if I want the ring around my profile picture to be a little bit bigger, if that makes any sense. You know, Pixlr just does allow you to do pretty much anything you want here with like pretty much any tool you want. Once you guys have your profile picture, like how you want it and you guys want to save it because I know, I guess if you guys are new, you guys probably don't know how to like export something from like Pixlr. If you want to export it and you have it how you want it, Make sure to go ahead and hit file and hit save and then make sure you name it whatever you want in file name. Make sure it's on JPG and not any of the other ones. Make sure to also drag the quality from 90 all the way up to 100 because it does reset to 90 every single time. And then just make sure the width and the height is the same and just click download and then it should show up on the bottom of your screen. And I think that is about it for today's tutorial. I know this tutorial is probably just a little bit shorter than all the other ones, but I think if you guys really take some of the advice that I'm giving you here for profile pictures, you guys can start actually making some really cool and some really
really unique stuff for yourself. You guys can put literally whatever image you guys find online on here. And if you guys want, you know, some more Pixlr tutorials, I already have some on how to cut out stuff on Pixlr. So if you guys find like an image on like Google that you want in your profile picture, but it's not transparent, I do already have a tutorial on how to cut things out. And maybe if you guys want a more advanced one, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. I would not be opposed to like making one as well as that. If you guys want a part two or maybe like a little bit more in depth tutorial, make sure to go ahead and let me know. And also if you guys have any other Pixlr ideas on like tutorials or other videos you guys want to see or need help on, make sure to go ahead and again, let me know in the comment section down below. Also just want to thank you guys so much for the recent support on the channel. Honestly, it means the absolute world to me. You guys have been smashing the like button on the last few videos. So I genuinely just really, really appreciate it. I've got lots of more tutorials coming for you guys. I have lots more just setup videos, just all kinds of videos coming in 2021 and the rest of 2020. So again, I appreciate you guys for watching. If you guys haven't turned the notification bell on, I would definitely recommend so you guys do know right when my videos do go live. I appreciate you guys for watching all the way till the end. You're an absolute legend. If you're still here, I will catch you guys in the next video on the channel. Thanks for watching. Peace out, guys.